All right then gang, so now we're successfully reaching out to the server to grab the data. Next, I want to allow a user to add a new job to the listings. And we're gonna do that via a web form on the front end. So we need to create a component for that page. So let's do that first of all. Inside jobs, I'll create a new file and I want the route to be forward slash create. So I'll say create.svelte, like so. Now inside here, we're gonna need a script, a style and a template. So let me just do the script first of all and then the style tag underneath that. And then finally, we need the template. So let's do the template first of all. We need an H2 at the top, which is gonna say add a new job. And then below that, we need a form. So form tag, we don't need an action because we're gonna handle this in JavaScript, but inside that form, we need to have a few different input fields. So the first one is going to be for the title, and this is gonna be a text input. Now I'm gonna add a placeholder to this. So placeholder is equal to job title. And then after that, we'll do another input. And that input is gonna be of type number because this is gonna be for the salary. So I'm gonna say placeholder is equal to amount and then I'm also going to make both of these required, to be honest. So required, and then down here, required as well. And then we need a third input, or rather this time a text area, because this is going to be for the details. So I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff right here. We don't need these. We can style it in the CSS if we wish to. And this placeholder is going to be job details. And then also I'm going to make this required like so. All right then, now we need a button at the bottom to submit this, so button, and then we'll say add new job. I'm also gonna add a class to this button right here, and that class is gonna be BTN. Much like we added a class of button to other things in the past, this anchor tag right here as a class of button, so we'll style that up later on. But now we have this form, if we go to forward slash jobs forward slash create, then we should see that form. Currently, it looks absolutely terrible. So let's also add some styles. Now, I'm just gonna copy these from my repo and paste them in right here so you don't have to watch me type them out. But we're styling up the H2 first of all, then the form itself to give it a max width and some margin and also aligning all the text to the center. And then down here, the input and the text area, display as block, width 100%, which is gonna be this thing right here. Uh, a bit of padding each. Font family is Arial and then some margin, a border and also a border radius just to soften up the corners. So that should hopefully look a bit better now. Okay, that looks pretty good except for this button at the bottom. So now we need to attach a submit handler to this form. And the way we do that in Svelte is by saying on and then colon submit. And we can attach that to some kind of function. So we'll call this function handle submit now i want to prevent the default action right here so i can do that by after submit adding a little pipe and then saying prevent default and that will prevent the default action of the form which is to refresh the page now we just need to create this function so let me copy that and come up to the top and i'm going to create a constant called handle submit and set it equal to a function. Now inside this function, ultimately what we want to do is send a post request to the server. But first of all, we need all of these different values from these inputs and the text area. Now what we're gonna do is bind the value of these different inputs and the text area to properties up here in the script. So let me first of all create these variables. Title, we need one for salary, so let's salary. We also need one for the details, so let details like so. Okay, so we have all of those three variables. Now we just need to store the value of these three different things inside those variables. So the way we do this is by binding to the value property. So I can say bind and then value is equal. And this is the title, so we'll bind it to the title value up here. So whenever we type inside this input field now, whatever value is inside it is gonna be stored inside this title property, this title variable. And I'm gonna do the same thing for this input down here. So let me paste that in. This time it's not gonna be title, it's going to be amount. That was the variable name, oh no, it's salary. So let's change that to salary. And in fact, let's change this over here to salary as well, because that's a bit more explicit. 
And then down here, we want to do a similar thing. This time, we're going to bind to details like so. So now we have all of those values stored inside here whenever they change. And inside handle submit, all I'm going to do is log those to the console. So console.log, and we have the title, the salary, and also the details. All right, so let's save that and try this out. So let me open up the console over here. And if we type in some kind of title, um, can't think at the minute, so blah it is. 20,000 and then job details. If we add that new job, now we can see all of those values being logged to the console. So we can grab hold of those values now. The next step is to actually send a post request to the server to create a new job and add it to the data. So we'll do that in the next video, but just very quickly before we do that, on the jobs page, I want to add a little link at the bottom, which is going to go to the create form because otherwise there's no other way to get to that create form other than to manually type it up here. So I want to place a little link at the bottom over here. So let me open up the index, which is this thing right here. And then below the UL, I'm going to do a div. And inside that div, I'm going to do an anchor tag. Again, I'm going to give this a class of button, but first it needs to go to forward slash jobs and then forward slash create. And we can leave off the first forward slash. That's absolutely fine. We'll give this a class of BTN so we can style it the same as the rest of the buttons later on. And then we'll say add a new job. And then also I'm going to come up here and I'm going to add some styles to this thing right here, this div. So let me just say div. And then inside this div, I'm just going to say text align is center. That's just to centrally align things on the page. And then also I'm going to style these li tags and the ul as well. Now I'm just going to grab these from my GitHub repo so you don't have to watch me typing them out. So paste them in right here. Dead simple. Strip away the padding from the ul. The li is list style type of none. Then the anchor tags inside those, we're giving them a display of block, a bit of padding, a border border radius to soften up the edges, a margin of 10 pixels top and bottom, and a text decoration of none. Then when you hover, we change the background color slightly, and then we have the div which we created a moment ago as well. So let me save that. We can now see over here, this looks a little bit better. We have the styles for the li tags, and when we hover over, we get a different background color, and we can also click this to add a new job. So in the next video, what we'll do is handle the post request, or rather send a post request to the server, and handle that in our server routes as well over here.